guys I got another coding interview question for you I found this one online and just wanted to share it with you so the question states write a function that counts the number of twos in an array so imagine that you have an array that looks like this as you can see this is an int array it consists of various numbers and what we want to do is write a function that counts each one of the twos in this array so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and now I'm going to show you how to actually go about and implement this all right so as you can see here let me zoom in all right so as you can see here we're, we have our array all right so what we need to do is first of all figure out how you're going to count each one of the twos within this array. Now, if you're in an interview and you come across something like this, you have to really just take in the problem and you know logically try to figure out how you're going to go about doing this. So if you want to count the number of twos in the array, the first thing you probably need to do would be to create a loop. That's the first step for int i equals zero i is lesser than my array dot length and then i plus plus all right so we have our loop here now what we have in this loop is going to loop through each one of these integers within this array and as we're looping through it we're iterating through each one of these integers here all right so now what we want to do is actually take each one of the integers and set it equal to a string so we want to go string x equals string dot value of and then my array at position i all right, so what's happening here is we have the number in this particular iteration. So as you know, if you're looping through an array, it's gonna be on a certain iteration, and this is what this i is representing. So we wanna take the current number in the current iteration and then set this equal to a string. Now, one thing that I forgot to do was to just add an int up here, count two. Let's see. Let's just say um, count. No, let's just say um, number two count. I'm gonna set this equal to zero. All right. So we just want to we just want to use this variable here, so we'll be able to keep track of the number of twos that are that are counted but we want to go back here so what I was saying is that we, we, we want to create a string all right called X and we want to set the value of the array at the current position to this string X but before we do that we would have to convert that to a string first by using string dot value of all right so the next thing we need to do is actually create this thing called a for each loop so that would go for char c. The reason we're using char c is because we want to grab, we, we so basically we have a string here, right? And in this string, there are going to be, the string is gonna be divided into chars, all right? So, oh man, this, all right. So as you notice here, this number right here, three, three, two, it has three characters, three, three, and two. And it only contains characters after we convert it to a string. When it's an int form, it's an integer, so it doesn't really have characters, but we, when we convert it to a string, it now does have characters. So this for each loop is gonna look something like this, char c, x dot two char array. So for every character in the current string that we have, 
in this chart array. So it's basically just breaking this string up into an array list of characters. We want to do this. We want to go for every, okay, we're going to do, do this. We're going to say if C equals equals and then two single quotes and then the number two. So here what we're doing, we're saying if the character at a particular position within this array is equal to two, then we simply just want to increment the number two count. So number two count plus equals one. That's all we want to do. Now, I think you guys understand what's going on here. So after we grab the character okay we're checking it and seeing if it's equal to two and if it is then we want to just increment this count by one and this is going to happen for each iteration for each number within this my array that we have and then just at the end we just want to go outside of this loop and just go sys out and then number two not count press save go back up here we're gonna run this application and we go down to the console and this is what we get 11 exactly what we were expecting we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten well I think I miscounted something so we got one yeah okay Oh man. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 twos, which is exactly what we're expecting down here. All right. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something here. Also, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.